No jumping off the roofs. That's the fun part, no though. Through, no, uh, no chainsaws. Take the chainsaw with you. I okay. wiped it all down. Okay. What's in it for fuel? Uh, I burned up most of it. So you did. Fine. Okay. All right. So I can just a little bit. No, no, no. We use true fuel, though. Yeah, of course we do. <laughs> it's like a mixture. It's I don't know. It's like true fuel. Something about when we bought when I bought him the chainsaw. It was like you should only run true fuel through it. It's like a red can. I don't know. I don't know. Oh jeez, there's tape everywhere. Sound is on. Sound is on. Donkey cam has a lot of viewers. Yeah, the donkeys are cute. Um, they are fun to watch. I mean, these ones are kind of sad, but I think they'll be healthy in no time. So, uh, someone just said something about the dog limping. I think I dog that hurt its leg. Um, yeah, one of the musicians was running out and smacked its kneecap on the fence. It's done. They keep doing that because uh, they just try and run. They try to all squish through the door at the same time. So it was um, jo Joplin, and she hit her knee, and then she was all pathetic, and Steve rubbed her down, and she got a lot better. So she's she seems okay. I'm sure she, she'll favor it for a little while at least, but now she's... Either she's inside or she's still out, but she'll rest up and be better. How was your day? My day was good. Um, long. Dogs all were great today. Uh, did a lot of outside stuff. It wasn't too hot in the shade, so a lot of traffic. A lot of, we, there's this really cool, um, at the Double Tree. there's this really cool set of stairs that's really long that, like, wraps down. Um, Liv just discovered it today, so she was all excited. She took the dogs there, but um, it's nice to work, especially it's the right time of day. It's all covered in shade, so they're all doing well. I did um, finishing touches on Orville. His, he's the next one to fly the nest, hopefully. Um, so I just had him out a lot today, just pushing him, uh, testing him, making sure everything is where it should be. So he has been, he was great. Uh, me, Steve, and Liv took him out. When we have dogs coming down the home stretch, we take him out three to four times a day um, just to really push him. So he's good. I think he's ready. So his person, I think she comes in the 22nd. So that's pretty oh, soon. It is pretty soon. Hi. Why are your pants wet? <laughs> I was playing with the hose. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your hose doesn't look very promising no, out there. No, it's not doing a good job at all. Yeah. I was watching Tommy kept cleaning the filters. Well, it, you know, it's coming out of the well. Yeah. You rocks and stones and twigs, you know. What is that, sediment? Is that <laughs> <laughs> but there's no way of filtering it before it gets clogged. So. Yeah. We'll probably shut it off tonight. Yeah. Looks pretty sad. He came up here asking if you wanted him to. He'll be back up, but. Yeah. Well, I think what you have to do is I think you have to shut it off and then take the air compressor and blow it backwards. Ooh, yeah. Through everything. Yeah. Get, because all the those 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 whoopy 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 things. They're like a computer. They are perfect. But God, you have to diddle with them. <laughs> you know, there's more little little tiny things you have to adjust to make yeah. it work right. And when you do, they're fine. Um, However, did, we don't have one that's working right. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, did Sid leave? Yes, he did. They left at noon. His family came in. He has two <coughs> young girls and a wife, and Sid was happy to follow them all around the farm before they left. He brought his kids down to the barn to show them around, and Sid was just trotting along with them. So off leash, just he'd call them, he'd run back over to them. So it was really, it was good. Sid's happy. He's been ready for a while now, so that's a good one. Um, any recipients on deck? Yep, we have someone coming in on the 22nd for Orville, hopefully. Fingers crossed, it works out well. Um, he's a good dog too, so he's ready to leave. You can tell when they're ready to leave, they start being stupid here. So <laughs> once they get in a home, it's just they're so happy and everything. They like a routine. 
thank you explorer or for the DD tab and also related links. I saw that right away. Oh, nice. I don't know what you're talking about. But <coughs> not sure. Oh, looking for the daily doggy and other related links. I see it now. <laughs> when is Sizzle coming back into the house? Um, she, she has an interesting cycle. She's still, um, I'm going to try and give her a bath, but she's still all swollen in the back end. And she got some run time today with Podrick. They ran around in the parking pit down there with my supervision and ran and ran and ran and ran and ran and played with a water bottle. And then they both laid on the cobblestone in the tea tent all <laughs> hot. So it was good. She had a good time. So hopefully. You're going to bathe her on the lawn. On the lawn. Yep. So we don't waste the water. Yep. We have our, water, our lawn, when you walk on it, crackle. Bad. Yeah. Do, do, do. Yeah, I took uh, Magnus and Noel for a walk around the pond today after, before feeding. They were cute. They had a good time running around. And Noel, for a seven year old, she moves really good. She's quick. She spins. She runs around. Like, I'm just like, just keep running. Like, keep <laughs> running. <laughs> so she looks good. Magnus is Magnus. I mean, he's just special but he kept up with her pretty good so they had fun and then we went down and then they watched sizzle play and sizzle really get gets along well with noel and magnus she has this submissiveness around noel where noel comes out and she just wiggles underneath her and she <laughs> collapses on the floor so <laughs> works out well noel likes it our local news stations and a lot of themes on facebook are warning to also remember to protect your pets during the eclipse for blindness. I don't really, I saw that online and it was like, keep your pets inside in case they look up at the sky. I mean, my plan for the eclipse, I mean, you guys can totally tell me this is bad. I was just gonna like quickly glance up and look at it myself. <laughs> like, is that really gonna kill me? Like, will I go blind? I don't know. Is it really, I mean, it's just like looking at the sun for a second, right? Yeah, I think. Oh, know. here's Tom. Tom, she said you said to shut off the sprinkler if they're not working. Well, is it, it, it down again? Yeah, I cleaned it a few times too. What we should do is blow air through it. Tomorrow. Through. We'll do that tomorrow. Okay, so just turn it off. Turn it off for now. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to remove the sprinkler heads as well, or can I leave them out there where the dogs eat them? You can just turn it off down cellar. Okay. We'll just leave it there. Yeah, we'll because play with the it tomorrow. The dogs eat it. They eat it. Okay. <laughs> the hose has been out there all along. It's amazing. They haven't. Can hold it, but they haven't. Who's next to be spayed or neutered? Uh, that's Hayden tomorrow. So he is neutered. He will be neutered. He's a good boy. He just he learned to jump into the car. He's, I don't know how old they are now, eight, six, seven months. Just He, he would just stand there like a ton of bricks and be like, lift my body. Like, And he would just, you'd be like, come on, come on. And his back end would just sink to the ground. I'm like, get in there. So now... Devin spent a lot of time with him uh, three or four days ago and just in the car, out of the car, in the car, out of the car, in the car, out of the car, doing it back and forth, back and forth, Highlander truck, blah, blah, blah. and then yes, today I got him and I was like, load up, and he's right in the car. I was like, look at that. <laughs> I thought for a while that he, he was broken. Like, I was like, do your, I was like, are your legs okay? Can you physically jump in? Um, hi, Megan. Does Carlene know what the pregnant donkey's temperatures were? today 99 point something will oh. will Josie etc have a stall tonight no no Mo takes up most of that yeah stall. Jody is not going to have one because don't forget Janine had that donkey for two months in quarantine before we got her so the fact that we have had her a year doesn't count because it's been already 14 months yeah I, I don't know what the I don't know <laughs> The spotted one looks pretty round. I didn't really look Big at them. They, every... I got my official eclipse glasses. Can't wait. Please don't look into the sun, Megan. <laughs> okay. What are they selling? A special eclipse glasses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think when I was in it, when Wait I was a, a kid, who's, who's doing that? I don't know. But when I was a child, I remember you could get a cardboard box and like do something with a hole or something and like put your head in the box and turn away and then you'd see the yeah. shadow on the box. We used to do that in like elementary school. Yeah, you put a pinhole on the back. Pinhole, that's what it was. And then it 
projects on, you put white paper on that side, <coughs> and then you can see it yeah. a little bit. But a little bit. Yeah, you shouldn't look at it. Okay. But when, when, well, if it's, it's not going to be totally there, so you shouldn't look at it. Yeah. We don't want you to burn your reps. Okay, here we go. Well, you look at the sun all the time. Yeah. Just for a second, but yeah. yeah so it says, according to the science people, the eclipse will super magnify the bad part of the sun, thus the blackout glasses, so don't look at the sun. <laughs> all right, all right. That's what I wanted to know. <clears throat> Did the vet come and check out the new babies? He is due here at 11.15 tomorrow. 11.15 tomorrow. I had posted it was 12 o'clock. They just called me and said he'd be here at 11.15. I also did suggest that he watch them call. Will they check on Josie again since he did say once that she was pregnant? If he doesn't, I'm just rubbing it in. Okay. <laughs> no. With a new foal, how do you know if it's a mule or if it's I, a no, I, Length of the ears. Also, a donkey does not have hair at the top of its tail. What? Like at the, where the tail meets the butt? Or yeah, the, it's, it's sort of smooth, and then you get the, the hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Whereas yeah. the horse has a lot of hair. Yeah. Mo seems to have a combination of both. So I, I, yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. All right. Well, I think that's it for me. A lot of donkey questions today, but that's to be expected. New donkeys, new excitement. <laughs> All right, you're up. I'm up. Bye. Bye. Good to see you, Annie. I'm up. <coughs> Bye, me, Chip. You turn the mic off just for a sec. Okay. so that when it's on, it's up, and when it's off, it's down. Oh, okay. So that I know. But there's so many little systems around here that they're just just too, too strange. It can't be done. Do you have a water? I had one. Yes. That's yours right here? That one. You got your big waters in your room today. I saw that. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, the mail's over there. I'm over here and the mail's over there. <laughs> I didn't do that very well, did I? Want one? Shall we do this backwards? Do the box first? Oh, there's a couple more. Well, I'm going to do it semi backwards because I'm going to do this one first because they put it here. So, there. This is Debbie Gaffney. We know Debbie. Debbie Gaffney. I'm just picking up the name. Melbourne, Florida. Thank you. How you doing, Ho ho. 
Unbelievable. I just ran out of bandages. She's got bandages in here. How does she know that? As soon as I get the card out of the envelope, well, there we go. That's all me. Thank you for all you do. Hugs to, hugs to all from Debbie Gafty in Florida. See, Pete. <clears throat> That's a pretty card. That was the debate of the <coughs> meeting last night. To make cards or not make cards. Sell a box of cards. An awful lot of people said yes. I'm thinking, oh, what are we going to put cards? Any rate, I am sending two thermometers, wipes and band-aids and alcohol wipes, extra supplies I have from my foster baby care. Also, five entries for the quilt and a check to cover that. Thanks for all you do. Debbie, okay. So I have to have five of the... What are you saying over there? She's, she's been drinking. Drinking. drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that goes over there. Entries for the quilt. That's these things. Yeah, I'll bend. You want me to bend them? Yep. Bend them Count them. Make sure they're size. Two, four, five. Okay, here's thermometers. That's a piece of paper, gets thrown away. And we have band-aids and things. That's nothing. Wonderful. I just ran out of band-aids. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Okay, so we have these things. Okay, wonderful. And actually, I'm sure Linda would like to keep that box. I'm going to put the box over there. Did you want this? Hey, you wanted this? What do you do? Not particularly. I already had her name, but I'll take it out of your way. There we go. Name. Okay, and this is AARP. That can go over there. Nice card. It is. Do you think we ought to sell cards? I'm not making any comment. I just don't know where we'd put all this stuff. In. Right. $20 gift certificate to the steak business, Omaha Steaks. Well, we'll put that in there. Power of one. That's not fair. Good. Okay, bill payment service. <coughs> those, those two babies down, the two mother doggies down there are coughing. Coughing? Coughing? Not tremendously, but they are coughing. He's coming to visit them tomorrow. Five days ago, they had a long-acting antibiotic. I think it's wearing off. This time they had another one. <coughs> oh. Okay. Stephanie Cerrone from Beverly. Thank you very much, Stephanie. No, it goes in here. That goes in there. And this is Ellen Hobson, Greenville, Tennessee. Ellen Hobson. Allied, Allied Bill Payment Service. Okay, three chicken bricks. Okay, so that goes in there, and this goes in here, and you get that to throw away. I'll put that on the floor because he's not. <coughs> I don't have anything that can go in there. Okay, and then we have Smith from Patent Place. That looks a little... Manchester, New Hampshire. And here we have a piece of paper.
Oh, okay. Okay, <clears throat> I'm sorry to take up your time, but that was, it had to do with a, a um, person that I thought maybe we couldn't get a dog for, but we'll have to try and look at that one again. Okay, Betsy Higgins, Blaine Washington, there you go, and those go in here. And then these go in here. Go. <coughs> Carol Prescott. Bangor, Maine. Bang Bangor, Maine. Bangor, Maine. Oh, okay. Bangor and Bangor. Okay, have to think about that one. <coughs> and we have Jan Gerhold. Oh, there we go. And here we have. Hi to everybody at Crazy Acres. I'll put that in there. <coughs> Can't believe it's mid-August already. Where is 217 gone? I'm still waiting for spring myself. As much as I love all the Danes, most has stolen my heart. She sure has made her, her own. To investigate the G10, T10, as well as helping herself to anything edible, including grape jelly and Sprite. She makes an entertaining lawn ornament as mentioned in my daily doggy. I love Scooter Karen's comment about training, or rather trying to train her to leave it. Hope everything works out and you get her harness. Somebody gave me hell for buying the harness for, for Mo. Why? Why should we make her work? Well. She's a farm animal? <laughs> wearing, well, wearing a harness around here and, and pulling a, a wagon is not, that's not work. I mean, pulling yeah, a plow that, might be work. We do that to Tanner. <laughs> that's right, we'll look at the Tanner. It, both, both the carriages that we're asking her to pull can be moved by one person, so they're not, and they, it's not going to strain anything. The most we might do is a two-mile parade to the Topsfield Fair, but that's all right. <coughs> Hope everything works out when you get her harnessed. Then there is Tanner. I can't believe he's only 13 or 14 now, right? Four, he's 14 now. So don't bother believing he's 13. This him has to go back to school, but probably not as much as you. Carly, did you watch the rescue dog to service dog on APL? They wish they would watch you on how to train a Dane for a person who was born a preemie with some kind of palsy, with mobility problems. They found the Dane at a shelter and thought she would make a good mobility dog due to her size and temperament, and then they trained her to sit on command, as well as other things they thought service dogs should be able to do. She had a harness like service dog Dane, but that wasn't used outside when she was working. For that, they used what looked like a kind of a seeing eye dog harness to me. Yep, that, that's with that metal, metal handle, and I just don't, I don't approve of that at all. <coughs> um, they also had the dog with that recipient for about a month, then took it back to what they called doggy boot camp for two weeks, where the trainers trained the dogs without the recipients. After watching that show, I love the Service Dog Project much more and appreciate all the hard work we do. Planning on sending an email and suggest that they watch and explore and Service Dog Project. Time will tell, at least their hearts are in the right place. Sorry, this was so long. That's the first time I've ever had two pieces of paper from her. There you are, two pieces of paper from her. And we have some of these. According to a survey, chocolate is the f number one thing to give up for Lent the second was Twitter. Well, I'm minus both. A Miami Beach thief snatcher snatched, oh, snatched a necklace 
from a tourist and took and took off. He was arrested when he returned it. Because the victim berating the victim over her fake jewelry. Apparently stole it and it wasn't real. Okay. That'll teach him. That'll teach him. That'll teach him. And we have Eileen Caps from Clovis, California. <laughs> Made it. Oh, this is from a quilt. There's a lot of quilt things here. Okay. Quilt department. How many should there be two? Who is it? Two. Who is it? Eileen, Eileen Caps. Eileen Caps. Here's the envelope right there. And we have Harold Wanda. Harold Wanda, made mail the 14th. There we go. Harold Wanda. Do one of those. Meaning Jimmy Dean. Do one of those. Do one of those. Jimmy Deans and Pecans. Okay. There we go. And one more. Okay. Mill, Northridge, California. Thank you very much. I didn't know you'd become president. What? President. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. Well, sometimes I am. Really? <coughs> okay, I did that. Now I have to do it. You're just not doing it. Here. You need to do that right. Now this is yesterday. Isn't that yesterday? Steve. Come on now. He's in the pile. This is Betsy Higgins. Oh, oh yes, I do. Blaine Washington. Oh, well. Okay, these scissors work. There you go. Chaos. Chaos. Chaos is joining us. Okay. That, these used to fit on my head, but they don't. <laughs> That's Higgins. Well, isn't that fun? That's kind of a nice one. Okay. See, see, I'm a natural. Got it. Another one. It'll work. It'll work. Beautiful. Beautiful. There you go. Who's that one from? Someone. Uh, Betsy Higgins. <laughs> Wait, let me read your mind. <laughs> That's the agent. Oh, okay, I already got it. You can have it now, perhaps. Aw, okay. oh, thanks. You're welcome. Uh oh. Oh, boys. Uh, we put the stick on the wrong side. What? We put the stick on the wrong side. No, we didn't. This says her name and stuff. It has to picture. Oh, I thought I was supposed to put it between the cat pictures. Oh, well. If, if, well, see, if it's between and you can see the pictures, that's, that's it fine. It goes on a little display. There you go. There you go right Look at that, huh? Yeah. And it's so fancy. There we go. Well, this is fun, man, too. That doesn't go on. See, that does go on. <laughs> oh, that's better. That's much better. Sure, I'll try that. Oh, yeah, try the ball. We have a pig. We have a pig stick. Perfect. It's right over my hat. Yeah. How about that? There you go. I'm good. Okay. You Alexis? You sure? Wow. Moline, you Il 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 Illinois. You got it. Go ahead. <laughs> he got it. Yep. Huh, okay, we got that one. Okay, and then we have 
have another one on the bottom here, don't I? All the fucks where you do? Did I do that too? I didn't do that one yet. How about that one? I don't know. I did that one. The envelope department is really not good. I see it Okay, so now we have another one here. How do I get it open? Now you look like you work at a fast food restaurant. <coughs> Maybe dairy. Why, why didn't that one pull? DQ. There you go. Nice. I'm nice. supposed to be able to pull that strip and have it come blow all the way off, but it didn't work. I tell you. Be careful. That's not working too well either. We will now try plan D. There we, go. we got it. For the challenges. Here's another one who painted it. She must be related nice. to the other one. Well, they both came from the same address, I Did they? think, but different names. One of the names is scratched out. Hey, this is Pamela. Moline, Illinois. Okay. Okay, there you go. And she's painted one of those. Okay, there we are. Ah, ben Bailey. Okay, and that's for a t-shirt. We'll put that in the box. And put that over there. Now, I'm down to this box. Oy, oy, oy. Oy, oy, oy. What have we here? Oh, well, that looks dangerous. People who I'm still trying to figure it out. Oh, I know. I think I saw these on a commercial. Really? Thank you. Stroop waffles. Stroop waffles. Caramel waffles. I want to see. Don't tease me. Caramel. A Dutch classic. Here you go. Doesn't say canine. No. <coughs> you got that? Here's the directions on how to eat them. <laughs> directions on how to eat them. You can show them how to eat them. Huh. Well, they look like they're fun. They have it on top of a cup of coffee. Yeah. Of course, this is written in some other language, but that's okay. Who sent these they're, to they're us? They're hefty. Yeah, they're heavy. Donna. Sandusky, Ohio. Pigeon racing. What? Pigeon racing. Pigeon racing. Yeah, yep. Good. Mm -hmm. Are they good? Mm -hmm. May I try one too? Yeah. Yeah. There's some kind of filling in there. They're heavy. Caramel. Mm. Oh, caramel. Mm. Mm, paper please. Oh. 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 Well, I could do that. Mmm. <laughs> these are very good. Mm. Oh wow. I get used to these pretty. We got a lot of them in here too. What if they're all the same? Mmm, they're very good. <coughs> yep, they look like they're caramel. Wow, where did she get these things? Dutch waffles. What if Grace goes about? I was going to say we should save one for Grace. Oh, we got a whole box full here. Very good. Well, let's save some for breakfast. Mmm. Mm. You want to try them? They're good. These need to be locked away somewhere. <laughs> we'll put that back in the box. These need to be great with tea. Mm. 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 Do we get one to drink? Is it Annie? Or yep. chewy? We must have. Oh, oh, right. Look. They're all caramel. At least I, all the ones I saw were caramel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Mm. Highly recommended. Oh, very good. Mm. Aren't they? Kind of an unusual flavor to them, but they're mm -hmm. very good. But they're caramel. What's unusual about caramel? No? I don't know. There's something just different. I don't know. I don't know.
we got questions? We do. Just okay. Post, just posting the whiteboard. I'll stop chewing for a minute and answer them if you'd like to do that. Chew no? away. I know where we left, left off here. Some comments. Megan's gone, but some comments about people going blind from looking at the sun. <coughs> Blue Penguin noticed that your socks don't match, so you must be feeling well. <laughs> yeah? Um. <laughs> Debbie, Debbie Gaffney says, when I was gathering things to send the two boxes of, to send, the two boxes of band-aids fell out of the closet, so they were put in the box too. I said, Goldie that must Goldie have. Goldie lives down there too. She said, Goldie told her. Wow. That's pretty funny. Peace Lover of Oregon says, Methinks SDP no cards would be a huge hit. But one more thing to process. Yeah. <coughs> um, Kelly B. from Texas. It's been a while since she's been on, but is Sizzle still around? And then some other people answered, yeah, she's still in heat, still in the laundry. She has a weird heat. But she was really flirting with Bentley. Really? Yeah. So we don't we don't take any chances. I'll have a talk. <coughs> this one wasn't hard. Hmm? This one wasn't hard. <coughs> no, don't. Is it? Go ahead. Put it back on. Sky said, "Notice poppy okay, outside." Okay. Now you think it's so easy? Go get one of the others. Right. Oh, that's the <laughs> puzzles. There's something. I do pretty well with most of those. I'll try it after. Sky says, I saw Poppy outside eating and then back to the barn, such bad coughing. Is Poppy coughing too? No, but I don't know. I haven't seen that. I have to check it out and check her out. I have to go back down there anyway. <coughs> That's the easiest one. Nicely done spirit sticks. Mm. Carol Detchmont says, I missed the picture of the chocolate mousse I sent Carlene yesterday. You got a I picture of the chocolate mousse? Yeah. Yeah, it was a great big chocolate mousse. Ooh. And I think it was from Maine. Ooh. I'll try to look it up. But I may want to go <coughs> You know what those it. are sprayed with? What? Um, I've forgotten. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> no, it was something weird like uh, be wax, dust, silicone? waxy furniture. Pledge. Oh, pledge. Yeah. Because they got all rusted at one point. I had to send them back to the company to get all de-rusted. And then when they sent them back to me, they said spray them with, with waxy plug. Good idea. Mm -hmm. So I wonder, if, is the goal to get this thing off? Um, no, it's probably the ring. Okay. <coughs> I broke, no. This is jumping ahead and some people won't appreciate it, but in the wintertime when you're using your snowblower, some, some people recommend using furniture polish to spray inside to keep the snow from sticking. Yeah. <coughs> Bring that up again later. <laughs> In November or December. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Snow shovels, I've heard that too. Yeah. You don't have to force it either. That's the other thing that's critical with it. There you go. You took that off. Maybe that is what you're supposed to take off. Peace mm -hmm. lever thinks... Then put it back on again. Peace Lover says we need a major celebrity to support ongoing publicity with SDP. We can work on that, but we have worked on some in the past. Devin. I think it's the ring, though. No. All right. Go get another one. <laughs> or Juan says there's syrup inside them. They're super. They are. They're, They're very good. And um, Ineki says yummy stuff. Stroop waffles, they're delicious. I love yeah, them. They are good. Yeah, those are great. Not to change the topic, but I, they could easily be my next favorite thing to eat because I have not had any tachycardia since I had stopped eating chocolate. So that was obviously a. Uh, that was obviously it. And and the, the the doctors were all willing. They wanted me to take all these pills all the time. I only have to take them when I eat chocolate. <laughs> Don't eat chocolate. I know. It's hard. <coughs> Grab the heart. Oh, no, Jeannie, I, I, I'm, I'm, 
kind of serious. I've just I've had a really busy week. I'm tired. I'm really tired today. That's all. Oh, just okay. Someone mentioned that I was not public. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. <coughs> it this happens is, for crying this, out loud. This is my busiest three weeks of the year. I'm just finishing, so. And I am. You don't wiped. want him to start telling you why. <laughs> I'm. I'm just. I'm wiped out. That's all. Just wiped out will do it. We don't, need, say. we don't need the details. <laughs> you want details? No! <laughs> I'll give you details. <laughs> Are you supposed to try to get a hard hat? I don't remember. Yeah. I'll give you the directions. Oh. Thank you, Tanner, for holding up the spirit sticks. What, what are we eating that's so good? Well, I'm having... Stacy's pita chips, and then we had some stroop waffles. The heart sort of thing. Yeah, little small waffles about that big that are like two little tiny waffles pressed together with syrup or something inside. They're Caramel. delicious. Twan. Whoop. Double bypass. Remove the heart. Twan said it was syrup of some type. That's fine. Remove the heart. Oh, I lost my hat. Um, they want to know if you can turn the mic and point it up a little. Put so the mic up. I think the mic. Towards, because they can't hear me. Which is probably a good thing. <laughs> he's not. He's not at full volume today. Oh God. How about that? Is that better? There we go. Now you want to hear how busy I've been? <laughs> you All get right. it? Hey, you can't take those in the bathroom. That's, oh, a, that's a rule. These are, what are these called? These are tavern puzzles. Tavern or parlor puzzles. Huh? Pa they call them parlor puzzles. Well, this outfit doesn't call them that. They call them tavern puzzles. That's why they don't work. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I, they do call them. The 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 and, uh... Over here? <coughs> Okay. Well, I got that stuck on there then. Hmm. What is that one? Is it supposed to come apart or? Oh yeah, the heart it? comes off. Oh okay. Hmm. Um. I well, had these all hanging down in the tea tent one year. I remember that. And they got rusted. Marge from Ontario wants a cookie too. Who? Marge from Ontario. You have to come down. We'll be <laughs> glad to give you one. Right. Um, I have to say, Karen from Karen R from Long Island says, I have to say it. Tanner has such a nice smile. No, I'm not saying it. <laughs> um, you don't want him to get too big a head. Here. I know, really. You know. Uh, it's it's gonna it's it's gonna have a tough time going back to school. It really is. And there's some questions about. Prego dogs and people are answering them, which is great. Thank you. People are figuring out the way around the web. Christy Flessert says from Ohio, Amish made treat, very yummy. Oh, the Amish made. Guy. And then Lila May says fried pies rule. Fried pie? I've never. Fried pie. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Sounds good. Yeah. I'll leave that to Tanner. <coughs> All right. All right. Sometimes the directions are just as bad as we to figure out it. Blue Penguin on. wants to know why in the world were you up to nearly 9 p.m. last night? That was when you sent the email that you saw her email of the ad by the. I was up panel. till nine because we had a board of directors meeting. Oh. The All about how many power to potties to get for Dog Fest, <laughs> whether or not we should <coughs> print cards. I think I've been outvoted on the cards. But it's like we're running a gift store here. Because we're fundraisers. No. Well, the other problem with something like that is I've got to cough up the money ahead of time before we start getting it back. You know? That happens.
happens with an awful lot when it comes to dog fest. Well, maybe wait till after dog fest this year. It's a little bit close to start thinking about doing that. <coughs> but I think it's a good idea in the long run. But who well, knows? Just my opinion. We got enough. We have enough. You want to hear about my week? Oh yeah. <laughs> really? Well, she, she's <coughs> oh, Betty, what's the matter? You scared, he scared him. him. He doesn't want to hear about your week. No, he doesn't. He did. He, he does. He no. came closer. He objected. <laughs> Benny, I'll tell you all about it after. You all right, buddy? Okay. Bentley, what happened? Yeah, there's something. Huh. That's what Bentley does at this time of year. <coughs> well, Audrey from New York wants to know where Laura has been. She's around. She's Work been around. around. Yeah. Your birthday today. Yeah, there. today's Laura's birthday. Happy birthday, Laura. Is it her birthday? Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Laura, you want to tell us about your week? She must be 17, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Right. Our little kids She's are growing up. She's a good worker. She's a great worker. She's a good yeah. kid. They're all good kids. We've got rid of the ones that weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the bunch that sat on the over here and played with their phones? They're gone. <laughs> Peace Laura from Oregon says, just ordered waffles on Amazon. Ooh. Oh, Wingate sent a picture of the chocolate mousse. It's a little fuzzy, but I get the, oh, I want to go there. I want to <laughs> rip off an antler. <laughs> Speaking of ripping off an antler. Oh, geez, here we go. <laughs> you talk about me, go ahead. Listening. <coughs> the reindeer that pull Santa's sleigh are all <coughs> females. <coughs> you really want to know why? No. How do you know? How do you know? Because male antler, male reindeer lose their antlers about the first of December. And I know that because we had a reindeer at, on Boston Common one year. We were Santa's farm. I had about 30 animals there, the donkeys and dogs and everybody. And I had to have somebody sleep with them overnight so that the people of Boston didn't eat the goats or the chickens or anything. <laughs> so I had a gal who trains um, attack dogs. And she, the, uh, the bed was the primary thing. I had dogs on the bed. So at night she slept on that bed with her dog and nobody bothered our animals. <laughs> it was wonderful. But at any rate, they wanted the they wanted the reindeer up at the state house, which is right opposite <coughs> the common where we were. So the way you lead a reindeer is you take two people and one has the you hold on to the antler and you have a rope on the other and you just kind of are protecting each other from these antler things that are all over the place. So Janine and her friend take this reindeer up to the state house and she's standing there and the governor starts to speak and that antler came off. <laughs> Just decided to shed the antler so she, right there. She's okay. standing there like a conquering hero <laughs> with this antler. And the, and the reindeer at that point got loose and ran down the halls of the stairs. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. She ain't galooping after it. But she caught him, brought him back. That's great. That's, That's how nice. we found out about antlers coming off. Because that was somehow just after Thanksgiving that we did that. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah, I, would think I think that's that. in her book, maybe. I don't know. Reading. I I don't know. But I don't remember much these That's days. That's a true story. <laughs> true story. She came back down with the antler in one hand and the reindeer in the other. I broke the antler. <laughs> she was devastated for a while. Broke the whole thing. Just fell broke right the off. reindeer. Just fell right off. Well, you can function with one antler, they I guess. Shed them. Why not? Or something. They do. But that the, the male ones shed them first, apparently. And that's why all of Santa's, with his full <laughs> reindeer business, they all have to be the women. But those are special reindeer. Maybe they keep them. Maybe <laughs> we don't know. You know. But you're right. They, they probably are all women. They probably are because women. otherwise, <laughs> the men would get the directions all screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> the guy has a Rudolph. And Santa doesn't have GPS, you know. <laughs> <coughs> um, okay. Lila May sa says, try carob instead of chocolate. I'm sure I can do it. Just, just read them off here. I'm pretty happy with that caramel stuff. <laughs> the 
Regina says, I guess you have dinner. I hear the microwave going on and <laughs> <laughs> um, Betsy H. says, Miss Carlina fixed my spirit stick the wrong way. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we can turn it around. That's not a problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. I thought, it, I thought it you were being very good. clever and the, the, the spirit stick went up between the cats. Don't you think that is good? Yeah, and you can still post it that way. Well, we'll work at it. We don't want to ruin it, though. That's right. I, 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 I can do it right now. I can do it right now. I can. I know how to do it. Oh, I boy. Really, I know how to do it. All right. I'll keep reading while you diddle. Busy, yeah, so you might want to get ready to send another one. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> there you go. That's the way to do it. Um... Well, I'm glad DJ, you agree. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, you don't take the tape. You could not take the tape off. DJ Bass says one more tape. I need. They are delicious. My daughter brought me some from the Netherlands. They are very sweet, aren't they? They are. Well, they're actually not overly sweet, but yeah, they're, that's they're what I was right. commenting on. They have they're a good. Kind of very unique flavor to them that is not too sweet. It, it, it's just right. They're excellent. Too sweet. Too sweet. Not sweet. Too sweet. That's too sweet. Now sweet. you can put this back again there. I would be more than glad to. How about that? We aim to please. Please aim. Please aim. There you go, Bessie. Good as new. All right. <coughs> oh, how do I get it stuck here? <laughs> Someone was asking what the pink reflection was on chaos. I think it's the pink blanket. <coughs> Cardio mom says, happy birthday, Laura. It's too bad she's not here so we could embarrass her, you know? Mm -hmm. Really. And when I had the, uh, the a cappella guys last year sing um, 16 candles to her, and she was, ah, she was mortified. It was great. <laughs> Poor Laura. <laughs> <It was> great. <laughs> Poor Laura. Oh, even her mother thought it was great. <laughs> Blue Penguin, idea thought. Put out a feeler as to how many are interested and would will would buy cards before you finally decide. Everybody <laughs> I've talked to so far wants them except me. <laughs> Schnizzerwamp mom, are you keeping any of the new donkeys? The two spotted ones, I think. Really? I think I think I get to, I think I got to claim those before anybody else. Okay. <laughs> she sits one of those coughing. Yeah. Um, Jane Slade went uh, by reindeer. Do you mean caribou? I don't know. No, I mean reindeer because I didn't know any other name. Yeah. Lila May says, enjoy your evening. Um, Nana May lost in Oregon says, reindeer. Well, that goes to show you women do not get lost when traveling. Santa was always on time. That's what I said. Yeah, there absolutely. Yep. That's why he's, he doesn't get lost. Because the guys yeah. would be like, no, no, let's go this way. No. <laughs> <coughs> maps? We don't need no sticking maps, you know? No, the other <coughs> one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, is this the North Pole or the South Pole? <laughs> Mr. Beer is. Um, somebody gave me a, somebody gave me a puzzle, and I didn't, I didn't understand it. He did, but let me try. A puzzle. Somebody was standing. And they walked, I don't know, 20 feet one direction, 20 feet another direction, and 20 feet another direction. What color were the bears? Say that again. They walked 20 feet in one direction, 20 feet in another, 20 feet in another. What color were the bears? Yeah. Uh, they ended up at the same spot. They ended up at the same place. Okay. What color were the bears? I got this part of it. <laughs> They're white because of the polar bears. They back, you, you, you know, ran it up. There must the have been spot. something because right. you, you have, well, yeah, okay. Maybe, Maybe I, I forgot. forgot a piece I think of it left a little well, something. No, the part, the part I did not understand was there's some other place on Earth where you can do that, and I don't know where. <clears throat> Come back to the same location, something like that. Anybody else remember that? Puzzle? I think maybe it a else? little bit got lost in translation there, but who sent me that thing? But Betsy says thank you for moving the stick. <laughs> oh, good. Well, I 
I, I worried about that puzzle for a long time because I didn't understand. I didn't. I, I didn't. I, I knew the white bears the deal, but the only other thing I could think of was the South Pole, and that wouldn't be. I mean, they don't have bears down there. I don't think, do they? Southern bears. Southern, <laughs> Southern bears. No, but they have penguins. Well, they, what color are the bears? Are non-existent. I don't believe there are polar bears. I don't think there are either. I don't think so. Just so okay, penguins. so I'm back to what other place on Earth is something like that true? <laughs> something like what? <laughs> That's what we're trying to figure out. <laughs> oh. Dear. All right, we'll we'll figure that out later. Um, Charlotte six hundred wants us to say our names and job roles at the farm. What? Say our names and job roles at the farm. What do we oh. do? You, you're first. I'm chief cook and bottle washer. <laughs> there you go. And she doesn't cook and she doesn't wash bottles. Right. So there you go. All right. I'm Steve. I, I do a little of this, a little of that, <laughs> and then cut beef with Annie. This is Annie. Annie, go ahead. I'm Annie, I cut beef and do stuff. And other stuff. I'm Tanner and I do maintenance and anything else I'm asked to. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. Okay. Chief. <coughs> chief assistant to the assistant chief. There you go. That's right. <laughs> well, that's the, that's the, yes, when I had that accident deal and ended up in the emergency room, I had an assistant, the physician's assistant, <laughs> sewing me up. Ooh. No. And she really wasn't would, very good at the sterile technique. Go get the, go it get was the, very yeah. bad. Wow. So wow. that's where I can think of that chief assistant, the assistant chief. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you about a lab technician I had a little experience with <laughs> in the hospital trying to draw blood. Anyway, uh, Tony Roy Polakowski, Koski. Just rescued two partridges that appeared in in my yard a week ago. I started feeding them and went and bought a nice big chicken coop where they l will live happily ever after. They're amazing. Huh. Huh. She wants to get any more partridges. I think they have them at Stromberg's. Hmm. Stromberg's Chicks. Dot com. <coughs> Nana Berry lost in Oregon. Oregon says there was a blip and I lost about four minutes. I didn't hear you. So you want me to repeat the four minutes, or I? Which, uh, which four minutes? I know which four minutes. I'd be glad to go over it, or maybe not. <laughs> Let me tell you about my week. <laughs> maybe that's what she's. Oh, 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 here oh, we go. Oh. I'm gonna have We're trouble. Danvers Mass. No, that's not too bad. Service dog project. Call from Danvers M A. <clears throat> Oh, our business has not been verified by Google. Please don't hang up. The minute they say, please don't hang up, you know you're probably going to hang up. Oh. Okay. Penguin wants to know if there's going to be a trivia question today. Yes, there will be in a few minutes. <coughs> the directions are as bad as the puzzle, right? They are. <laughs> Um, Coleus on CP, Ontario, I'm assuming. Could the pregnant donkey be, be given anything for pain when she coughs, her whole body contracts? That's coming tomorrow, Amber replied. That's true. Yeah. So we'll take a look at her. Um, Yamina, when recipients get your dogs, they obviously have mobility issues. How do they pick? pick up their dog's poop, is there a special technique to do so without them bending down? Our, our people could bend down. There's nothing wrong with the bending department. If they fall on their heads, the dog will help them get up. But <laughs> um, Yeah, that's one thing, because Great Danes don't retrieve stuff willingly. So if our people drop anything, they, they can gen uh, there's nobody we've given a dog to. Yeah, I don't, I don't it's not a deal. Not yeah. a problem. We have such an efficient poop picking scheme that it's really the best going, I think. With the pickers is great. Yeah. I, decided I suppose if you 
if, if they were in their own yard or something, they, they have those little things that you could use to pick up. Yeah, but then you end up with a dirty little. Well, I know, you know I know. That's you what's bad about those. Yeah, at least the cardboard you can throw cardboard away. Cardboard is wonderful. I decided the directions are harder than the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. So it says. All right, Jane Sladen, here you go. A bear walks 10 miles south, then 10 miles west, then 10 miles north, and ends where it started. What color is the bear? White. Right. Okay, but that Doesn't makes sense it. now. Okay. Doesn't because say. you didn't say south. That's south and north. But that's all right. That's why I was a little confused. But I, I get the... Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay, but now what's the second one? There was something about, there was a second place on the earth that you could do that. <coughs> I would think the South Pole. No, there's no bears down there. Well, there's no bears, but you could, you, when you say do that, you mean walk and come back to the same place? <coughs> you can do that anywhere. I can do that <laughs> in the living room. Oh, true. I don't have to have bears. Okay. Maybe I couldn't walk 10 miles, but you know. The zoo? <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. Where, about, where else would you have white know. bears? Other than Wherever I read it, didn't have an answer book or whatever. Hmm. Oh, we are All right, I'm thrown off. Okay. Blue penguin, the authority. No polar bears in Antarctica and some varieties of penguins, but surprisingly, most are found or live in heated climates, especially blue penguins, aka as fairy are in New Zealand. Interesting. Hmm. Uh-oh. I think I broke them. Or stuck. <laughs> All right. All right, so. Ready for trivia? Sure. Show up. Question. I'm typing it now. Oh. This is a trick question. Oh. <coughs> you stupid heart. It's a very long question. He's still typing. Okay, so remember, respond to... And that's on here. I can look it up? It will be in a minute. I haven't, I haven't posted it yet. tough because we're going to need almost an exact answer because you can't, there's no really range that we can, so it's going to be a tough one, but anyway. I'm looking. <coughs> okay. Ready? I'm ready. All right. I'm getting ready and pasting it in. <laughs> All right. I am posting, and I will say it. What do the numbers slash letters on Carlene's license plate mean? The license plate is 1NHB40. We have to 7 o'clock to respond. Thank you. This is a trick question. I will give you a hint. Okay. This is a tough one. Huh. Okay. And on that note. And Thursday, 8, 10, 17. Did I put the wrong date? That's not. I did. Is it's that the date? Sorry. The wrong date. <laughs> I'll edit it. <laughs> Smart dogs without a T? Smart dog. Smart dog, okay. Yeah. No, I'm not a smart Just checking. dog. <laughs> Just checking. Okay, corrected the date. So sorry, oh. so sorry. I'm going to mess up something so much. 
we have dinner while you want while we do that? Yeah, because we have to wait anyway an hour before we before we check. So. Oh, that's right. It's only six o'clock. Yeah. And Food. I think we're done. So, thank you, everyone. Have a lovely evening and day and week. And we'll turn the and camera. We will um, see you again on this, Saturday. This picture is extremely good. You know, since they changed it. As long as there's not too much detail, since we're not wearing makeup. Oh well. Okay. All right. There's no dog out there. Well, that's the brakes, I guess. Tina, okay, off shutting. Tina, Tina says, I think she told you once.